Before Mask, before my huge success, I was working at a nonprofit called The Selfless Saviors. Our motto was lose yourself, and I did. I helped everyone but myself. One day, I was sitting at my desk and got a package from my mom. I'd just gotten a promotion and she congratulated me. I opened it and it started playing this song. It was one of those cheesy cards with the 8-bit music in it. But this wasn't just any song. It was a lullaby she used to sing me as a kid. It went, you are the only one who can be you in the world. And I realized I was putting so much of myself into everyone else but me. So much that I hardly even knew who I was. I decided I'd go out and take care of me for a change. So I decided to pack up and become an entrepreneur. This is my heartfelt story with a pointed lesson that sells my programs for me. I'll be telling this story for the rest of my life to pull on the heartstrings of my potential prospects. And this is how you can do the same. Manipulating your network is good and all. But now it's time to manipulate at scale. Today, I'm announcing a very special project I've been working on for years. Mask the world. When did this song start? Welcome to Paradise Valley, where all this love is free. Where doubts are bad and love is rad, where hugs are currency. It's Paradise Valley, where ground check is our guide. We hold the space, we love your face, so process what's inside. Cause we're all in this together, and Paradise Valley's a dream. What's it costing you to not live in Paradise Valley? Daxi, can you can you hear me? I'm calling you from my uh, from my iPad. Hey, Brian, <laughs> thanks for talking to me. Oh my gosh, all the mushrooms are so amazing. I, Betty, Christine, Lexi, they're all so my type. <laughs> yeah, good to hear it, Daxi. You know, sounds like you're uh, you're doing really well there. So, so what do you want to talk about? Well, it's all the scheduling. I mean, it's great being with all three of them, but it's like I have to be at three places at one time. <laughs> that one's easy, Daxi. You know, you're just forgetting something really important. You are the oak tree. Trees don't just get up and go to where the mushrooms are. The mushrooms, they come over to the tree. <laughs> so, since you can't be in three places at once, if you want to make this easier, you just got to bring them into each other's lives. It is possible to have three mushrooms on one single oak tree, if you, if you know what I mean, Daxie. <laughs> Brian, you're a genius. I have an idea already. I'm going to bring them around something that they all love. Me. Oh, now you're getting it, Daxi. Now you're getting it. Just remember, mushrooms love being around other mushrooms. They might pretend that they get jealous just to try to steal you away or get a little bit more attention for themselves, you know? But what do we say? I stand tall like an oak tree. And I never blow over to the demands of my life or my women. Oh, you are going to be just fine, Daxi. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> Hmm. How's it going, Lexi? Oh. <gasps> Miriam, playing bigger was exactly what I needed. <sighs> I've been so stressed about my book launch and rebrand that I've hardly thought about Dax at all. And that's good? Yeah. 
Like, at first, I thought I wanted Dax all for myself. But what Brian said really hit me. Maybe I was just limiting myself and him by avoiding my work in the world and, and playing small. Yeah, maybe, Lex. But you felt weird about this from the start. And so have I. Dax trying to serenade me through the window was kind of weird. You know, though, I wasn't the woman that I am today. You know, now I am a woman. I am, I am a queen who is on a mission and on a purpose. And what I realized, what the money gods told me, is I just manifested that experience to push me more into the life I came here to live. My perfect life. I don't know, Lex. You know I'm all about spirituality, but those teachings about manifestation and blaming yourself and making yourself wrong, it's not true. What if you just don't actually feel good about this? Oh my gosh. You're right. <sighs> Miriam, you're a genius. Instead of blaming myself, I just need to be more positive. That's not exactly what I mean. Oh, Miriam, thank you so much. You've reminded me what it takes to be a real queen. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna go off now and be positive. Yes, positive. Ah! Oh. Positive. Oh. Yo, Tommy, wanted to drop you a celebration message. The big announcement, it went great. We already have, let me see, 360, no, 370 <laughs> signups from just that first webinar. That's like 10% of my audience, man. Confirmed and 70K in ticket sales alone, processed already. I still have to get some speakers lined up, get the affiliates to commit to their signup bonuses, send out the structure for a follow-up email sequence to my copywriter. But really, I'm only like 100 hours of work away from the perfect summit, and I am 10 out of 10 committed to getting all this done this week. And hey, I've actually been thinking about that day two offer. I want to secure equity in these people's businesses, man, not just the program payment. So let me know your thoughts. And hey, thank you. Playing bigger was exactly what I needed. Talk soon, tell me. Hey, lookbook. Oh, you guys are all coming on. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Amy. Oh my God, Ben, you're back. Jamin. Oh, Lizzie and David, you guys are here too. Oh, this is so fun. I love when all 137 of you are here. It feels so good. So I wanted to give you an update and what's been going on in Paradise Valley. Spence has lost his freaking mind. I, it's a mess. I keep suggesting that he rest and he just keeps going and going and going and going. And like I said, bubble gum and popsicle sticks. It's gonna all fall apart. And Lex is, she's just distracting herself with work and in this book launch and I don't feel any energy there. And I think she just doesn't wanna be in an open relationship with Dax but he's so persistent. And then he like came to my window one night. So weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. We can talk about that another time. Um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, he's getting ready tonight. He's like hustling all around the house to try to get ready for an event for his multiple girlfriends. Yes, multiple. So I don't know, every time I check in, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna rest. I'm just gonna keep resting, keep taking care of myself. I know they would see this as lazy, but whatever. They'll learn. <laughs> we always do, right? That's what happens when we don't follow the energy. Then the soul comes in and smacks us upside of the head with what we're actually supposed to be doing, which is more often than not, resting and taking it slow and finding our natural rhythm. So, I don't know. That's my latest update. All right, talk soon. Bye. Bye. 
Hey, Lexi, uh, got a minute? Yeah, what's up, Spence? So, I wanted to do you a favor. I know you didn't like your branding, how it came out, so I got the contact for a branding specialist who's actually good. It's only 1500 bucks, which is peanuts in this industry. The secret is, you gotta find someone who doesn't know his worth yet. That's really great. I just, I don't think I could spend any more money right now. I know, I know. That's why I picked up the tab for you. He's already working on it. We'll get it to you soon. <gasps> Oh my God, Spence, that's so nice of you. I, I knew I manifested a friend like you. <laughs> anyway, I got a favor to ask from you too. So I was hoping you could help me with promotion. I know your audience is like 90% men, you know, your demographic. So if even 1% of those are entrepreneurs, that could be like 100,000 people who are a great fit for Mass the World. What do you say? Yeah, sure, sure, uh, sure, Spence. W whatever you need, I'll, I'll help you out. Okay, so let's start with the Lookbook Live together, and then you can do maybe three to five follow-up posts. Don't worry, I'll write them for you. All you gotta do is schedule them, and you know, we'll pick some dates. It'll be super easy, I promise. Hey, you two. Hard at work, I see. Dax. Spence. Hey, Dax. Haven't seen you around much. Yeah, you know. Can I steal my mushroom from you? Of course. All right, perfect. See you later. Bye. We'll talk more. Okay. Hey, Dax. I missed you. I missed you too. Let's eye gaze together. Oh, Dax. It's as if you were reading my heart. So I have something very special planned for you tonight, my queen. Don't make plans at 6 p.m. because I'm doing a special concert just for you. <gasps> just for me? Just for you. Just for me? Yes. Wow. I'm honored, my king. Oh, and I overheard you talking to Miriam. Don't get close to her. <laughs> oh, she was just telling me to be more positive. Positivity. Oh, well, I guess it's okay then. Her and I just need to close some loops together. I so support you in that, my king. Whatever you need. Tonight's gonna be amazing. Your Like, what got into you since yesterday? I know, I was so exhausted yesterday, but, you know, Tommy Wheel, my coach, he told me to play bigger, and that was so inspiring. But really, it's my secret weapon. What is it? Microdosing. <gasps> oh my gosh. All the big techie guys always talk about it. Yeah, but they don't even do it right. I get this special blend from Tommy Wheel. He gives it to his clients. Doesn't talk about it publicly, but he calls it the seven spokes to high performance. Oh my God. What's in it? Psilocybin, ecstasy, LSD, DMT, peyote, ayahuasca, and cinnamon. Cinnamon? <laughs> Holy Jack 
cinnamon. I love cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, it helps to regulate your blood sugar. Mm hmm. You know what? I'm about to put in another order today. How about you uh, take the rest of this? Take one, and you'll be bright and alert all day. Take five, and you'll see aliens phasing through the walls. <laughs> Here you go. My name is Lex, and I am queen of the universe. Thanks, Spence. You're welcome. This medicine will be held sacredly. I call in my oversoul. I ask to be disconnected from the collective, from this house, from Dax. Dax, from Dax. Whew. Has to be disconnected from Lex, from Spence. And I call in my truest soul essence. Hey, Spency baby, here's how you do it. You're probably sitting pretty around 12 mil at the end of this deal. The question then is where to invest your money to work for you. Equity is not a bad move, right? But you can't trust people to run their own businesses with your money. So you run it for them with pre-made systems. Pocket 10 mil for the other investments we'll talk more about soon. Take two mil, run a contest, the Mass Angel Investment Fund or something. Take your high level group first and have them apply. You give them the business map and then you run them through a year certification program where they build a duplicate of your business with their seed money. Take 20% of each business and in one year you have your income passively. I'll walk you through it again next call. For now, get back to work and get those affiliates in the bag, baby. Baby, 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 baby. I gathered you all here today because I want you all to meet each other because you're gonna be a big part of my life. I'm Christine, empty head. <laughs> Before we get to the icebreakers that I planned, I want to share a song that I wrote just for this occasion. Dax. My king. I thought this was a I'm romantic night it. for just the two of us. Just us. Just us. <laughs> well, ladies, it's a romantic night for just the four of us. <laughs> Check, Dax Davis, this song is dedicated to you, and only for you. Hey there girl, you are my world, I can't believe I found someone like you to make me feel so brand new, yeah. makes me sing it makes my heart go ding ding because you're my everything and i can't believe that i finally found you and that i finally found you hey, i can't believe girl. that i found you k 
Cause you're my world, girl I can't believe it's someone like you To make me feel so brand new Hey there, girl I can't believe that I found you That I found you That I found you, found you, found you Hey there, girl. You are my world. I can't believe I found someone like you. I can't believe. He wrote that for me. I love that he wrote that for me. He wrote that for me. That for me. <laughs> he wrote that for me. No, he wrote that for me. I love that he wrote that for me. One. That is mushroom. Did you like it? What did you think? <gasps> he wrote that for me. He wrote that for me. Actually, ladies, he wrote that song for me. Hey, Spence, are you all right? Hey. Yeah, totally fine. I just, uh, Took a little nap. I got some. Uh, I got some work to do, though. So I'll. Uh, More work. Yeah, I got, got a lot of work to do. You haven't been resting, <sighs> have you? Oh yeah, I've been resting plenty. Just just took a nap right now. I'll uh, catch up with you later, Maria. <laughs> See ya. Ladies, ladies, please. What? <laughs> ladies, I wrote this song for all of you because we're all in this together. <sighs> Dax, if you want to have a real romantic night with me, let me know. I'm out of here. Dax. <sighs> he wrote that for Lex, me. no. <laughs> Ladies, uh, Betty, Christine, I icebreaker? Dax. I actually have to get back to the shop to help Papa. I'll text you. each other like the way you love me. Oh, I love you, Dax. So true. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting word from Larry Chestnut oh, that we have some breaking news to report. Live at five. Gotta go. right here this this moment this is it this is it it's like hey guys what are you guys doing Miriam come sit with us
Hey guys. What's up? Hi, Miriam. We love you, Miriam. Are you guys on? We are just having a oneness circle. Oneness. And Spence was about to share. Oh my god, guys. I just realized that that sometimes I I work so hard that sometimes maybe it's too much that I don't that I don't let the love in. Love in. Let it in, Spat. That's what's wrong with me. Yeah. Hey Siri, set a set a timer for 2.30 tomorrow to let the love in. <laughs> I'm having so many downloads. You see, you guys, I that wasn't okay with with the Dax loving lots of old women. No, wasn't okay with that. Huh? But I, but it's okay. It's okay because I realize that that. We're all just one. We're all just one connected one, and and we're all just one one woman. So so it's okay if Dax loves multiple women, because we're all just one woman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. One. Father God, thank you for all the downloads and telling me that nothing's ever my fault and that it's because Lexi's jealous, which has made our lives difficult. We ask that you help her to accept that this is the best for all of us and to integrate all these pieces. In Brian Bruce's name, we pray, amen. And so it is. And so it is. <laughs> <laughs> You guys on drugs? No, Miriam, it's intuitive ping this morning that I need to come visit you. I have no idea why, I just gotta trust that mother's intuition. Okay, little Spencer bug, send me a text and let me know when you get this. I'll see you real soon. Next time on Paradise Valley. With the realizations from their medicine journey change their lives for the better? Or will they just forget everything? Will Spence be able to power through and master the world? And oh yeah, wait, is Spence's mom really coming to town? Find out next week on Paradise Valley, only on YouTube.